Greetings, WordPressers. In today's show, it's all about dynamic content with Jet Engine and Elementor Pro. Jackson here, welcome to my channel here on YouTube for all things WordPress. If you like WordPress, I do encourage you to subscribe. If you are new here, description below has all the links and stuff we uh, we shall be talking about today. So what will we be talking about? It's a tutorial about dynamic content, custom post types, custom fields, how to take that data, that content and get it displayed in your website. So I put together this kind of real world example of what that could look like using the mighty jet engine and the always mighty Elementor Pro. So in this WordPress tutorial, I will take you through a three-step process of creating a custom post type, creating a listing template, and getting that displayed dynamically in your website. So here we go, dynamic content with Jet Engine and Elementor Pro. Right, dynamic content with Jet Engine. Here we go. So we've got a basic website here with um, a hero section, different different sections and all the rest of it, but we are solely in interested in the hero section, specifically the chalkboard, and even more specifically, the list of specials that are on today. And the object of this project is to swap out this free text field. Let's open up the editor. This free text field here with uh, dynamic content based on a custom post type that has information entered on it for the special name and more specifically or and as specifically the date at which that special is available on and so this section here will dynamically change every day based on what the user enters as additional items on the custom post type. That will become a bit, a bit clearer when we go through this process. So there's three aspects to this build. One is we need to create a custom post type and add the appropriate fields to it with Jet Engine. We'll then recreate some uh, specials so we've got some data to work with. We then need to create a listings item, again with Jet Engine. This is a listings template that we can then use for stage three, which is to put in the listings widget as a replacement for this text area here. Set up the queries within that listing widget that will show the correct data on a daily basis based on what's been entered on the custom post type. Okay, that may sound a little bit confusing, maybe a little bit too much to take in, but stay tuned, hold tight. All will become very, very clear very, very soon. Okay, let's get stuck in. So let's go over to the dashboard. We're gonna go to Jet Engine. I've got Jet Engine already installed. I've got Elementor and Elementor Pro installed. Let's go to Jet Engine and Post Types. Let's create a new post type. I'm gonna call that Specials. We're gonna add some meta fields to that. One for the date and that's going to be a field type and it's going to be a date type field and very important we need, very important we, we need to save this as a timestamp so that jet engine can do its magic on getting the right specials showing on the right dates let's make it required let's add our next field which is going to be for the order for the items for that day uh, this is just in case you have entered them in the wrong order and therefore you need to move them around in the list. Maybe you're, maybe you're pushing broccoli this week, who knows? Anyway, so that order is a field, yes it is, and it's also a number field. So we'll select number, and that will do for the time being. Okay, let's add that post type, and we should see immediately we have a specials admin menu item here. If we go and have a look at that, we see we've got a list for the specials. Now, a quick jet engine tip, let's get back to our post type. We can add the data that we are gonna be entering for the custom post type to the, to the columns in the admin list so that we can actually see what we're looking at. So let's just add the menu date there and it's a meta value and the field name is, you can see it on the field here, date we'll put it in column two and we'll make it sortable 
we'll add another one for the order menu order it's a meta value for the field name order basically those two fields that we just created up here all right cool let's update that so if we go back to our specials we'll see we now have the menu date uh, the actually hang on a sec we need to change the go back to the admin columns and on the menu order one let's put that in column three update that right now that's our our specials listing is looking a little bit better we've got the title the menu date and the menu order uh, that date is the date of the post was created so that's all good so now we've got our custom post type set up let's add a special Ah, now another quick tip for um, Jet Engine. Let's get back to our listings. Sorry, post types. And let's just on the post type in advanced settings down the bottom. We don't actually need the editor because we're only dealing with fields. The title we do need because that's actually going to be a thing that's going to be displaying. So let's update that post type, get back to our specials and create a new special. And so you see now we've lost the editor part, which is less confusing for the user. So we'll paste in that title we copied. We'll give it today's date. It'll be order one. We'll publish it. We'll add a new one for the next gorgeous item. Get that in there. Order is two. Publish that. Add a new. Grab a, our next special for today and that order will be three publish that last one the broccoli quiche add new dates today order is number four great okay publish that let's have a look at what we've got on our list and uh, you will see uh, we do indeed have our list of gorgeous specials but look at them look at the date here very dodgy How, what, what does that mean well let's go back to our jet engine post type uh, that is our specials post type now we go back to our admin columns here you see the menu date it's doing what it sh it's doing what it should do but check it out if we look at the sorry the date you see we're saying save as timestamp so that's what it means it's saving it as the numerical timestamp so that we can use that for all sorts of lovely wp queryness uh, a little bit later on so with the admin column we can't have it as a meta value we have to have it as a custom callback and then we can select uh, from the existing callbacks and it's this jet engine custom callback date if you had a different type of field you're working with but we're working with a date field so jet engine custom callback date and then we put in our field then we apply it then we update our post type and check this out if we go back to our specials list now we have our dates which is a bit more handy for the user okay stage two we need to create a listing template this is going to be a single item template for literally this one line so not the most complex or creative template you'll ever be faced with making with the jet engine listings but it certainly does demonstrate the functionality so let's go to our jet engine listings section and we're going to create a, a new listing a listing is specific to a post type or other style of content nine times out of ten it will it will be a post type uh, so it's going to be a post it's going to be a post type which is our specials uh, we're going to call it our the specials as our listing name we're going to use elemental as our tool for designing the template you see how this kind of is starting to work a little bit let's create the listing item so now we can create a single item design using elemental very 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 cool stuff so the first thing we're going to do is add a section you may notice straight away that this section is actually huge in comparison to the part that we're trying to design which is literally, literally this size so the, a great little addition in the jet engine settings here in the listing settings is that we can set the preview width to roughly what is that probably about 350 
the width of the item where it will sit on the page. Because remember, this could be uh, a, gr a, a grid full of posts with images and all the rest of it. So you've got to kind of design it within the space that it's a, it, it will end up on on the front end. So great addition. Well done, Jet Engine and Croco Blocks for that. OK, let's update that for a second. Um, and so what we need for this one and only element, uh, one and only listing template is that it's literally one of these. The rest of how many they are, how many columns there are, and what order they come in, that's all determined in step three, which is the listing widgets on this page. OK, so let's just check out what the styling is for this straight up so we know what we're doing. We've got cabin sketch, it's 20px. Uh, of course, it's white. Line height is one. OK, so let's get back to our listing template. And so all we need is a dynamic field for this. And you can use elemental elements for this, but Jet Engine comes with its own set of listing elements. And I encourage you to use these because they have so much more capability than the standard Elemental Pro versions of, of, of the similar widgets. Things like text formatting, linking, the list is endless. So we'll grab the listing elements for a dynamic field and we'll stick it in there. And by default, which is lucky for us, is the field that we're looking to recreate is basically just the title. But of course, there are all sorts of different options to pull in data from your custom post type, our special post type. For example, on the metadata, we'll see that Jet Engine knows immediately that within the specials, because that's what this template is for, we have a date field and we have an order field. So you can see how you can build up a pretty amazing template. I mean, yeah, this, like I said, this is a very simple, <laughs> this is a very simple template, it's one line. But let's get, let, let's gloss over that for a second and get back to our uh, matter in hand. So we've got, we've got our title in there, as, uh, which is the default. We can uh, start getting some styling on that now. So let's get that centered and centered. We need to get the typography as, what was it, cabin sketch. I think we should lose the padding on the column so that we can control the spacing when we get to stage three. And of course, it is actually white, which means we won't be able to see. Oh, let's just check we've got the 20, 20 pixels and line height is one. OK, cool. Oh, and it's white, of course, which means we won't, we won't actually see anything on our template. But hopefully we've got that right. We can come back and tweak that as necessary. OK, so that's our listing created. Let's get back to our page and we'll go to our widget selector. If we scroll down, we see that we do have a listings grid element from Jet Engine. Let's take that and pop that above the current text field. And we'll see that we've got some general settings that we need to address, which first up, we need to find our actual listing template. So the listing is the listing template we just made. So great, look, it's just popped straight in there, but you can see immediately that we've got to sort the columns out, one columns, and an actual fact that's immediately looking pretty damn close, I would say. So other basic settings like uh, the default is that it has to be published, very important if you want to control the dynamic data by turning stuff off from that custom post type, etc. Tons of different settings for different scenarios, and I'll cover those in some other tutorials. But for this, project, we can leave things as they are. Post number, it says six. Now we've only got four post, we've only got four specials entered at the moment in our on our custom post type. So we'll see how that changes when we um, add some more. Okay, so we are, we're, it's looking pretty, pretty spot on already. Now, right, so the next part of the listing grid settings is the post query. Now this is where Jet Engine just really works. It's complete and utter magic. Um, so the query is, it means, uh, what do you want to show in this listing? At the moment, there isn't any query. So it's just going, just take everything and dump it in there. And you can see actually, it's just taking the most recent posts and listing them out there. And so for example, if we went to our specials, let's get back to the admin here and go to our specials, add a new one. And we're going to get Jackson's Jackson burger. Not super fitting with the Jones uh, menu. And we, we put that for tomorrow's in tomorrow's special. I am actually having a burger tomorrow. 
unbelievably. We don't need to worry about the order for a second. We pu publish that. Go back to our edit page. Let's go back. To, let's go to let's reselect specials again. And you see Jackson Burger just goes straight to the top. So it's ignoring the fact it's not on today's specials, it's actually tomorrow's. And the other aspect is that it's in the wrong order. And this is where the query engine of the Jet Engine listing widget comes into its own. So let's go to the post query and we'll add a new query. The first thing we want to deal with is the today's date part. We need to query the WordPress database and say, only show me things for today. And to do that, we, we say, what type of query is this? Well, it's a meta query. So it's a field query. The key name is date. And it has to be equal to the value of today. We also need to tell it that the type of field that it is, is a date field. And, th and there you go. You see, we actually have lost the Jackson burger. It's coming back tomorrow. And that's the power of the dynamic data. Right. So the next aspect we have to sort out is the ordering. So we know that this, this at the moment is just showing it in the order it was entered, the most recent at the top, but that's actually the wrong order. So let's go to add another item to our query. And this one type will be an order and offset. So kind of makes sense, the order we want them in. It will be ascending and you can choose from various different types of ordering like name. So you see they, they'll go to alphabetical, etc. Uh, but what we want, we want to order it based on another meta value, the other field, a meta field that we have on our post type. And that is the order field. And that meta type is a number. And there you have it. We've got the list now in the correct order showing for the correct date. Let's get rid of that text part now. And to all intents and purposes, it's identical, although it's all working from this incredible dynamic data. Let's go back to our Jackson burger and let's set that as today. I need that burger. We'll update that. Get back to our edit page. Let's just reselect our specials to just trigger that again. And there we go. Jackson burger. It's back on the menu. That is the brilliance of Jet Engine and dynamic content for WordPress. There you have it, uh, the quite remarkable Jet Engine plugin sitting alongside Elemental Pro quite beautifully. But do let me know in the comments below what your preferred choice is for that type of thing. But until next time, I shall see you later.